There are many chess prodigies in the world. One example is Magnus Carlsen. He is a Norwegian chess grandmaster, who is the number one ranked player in the world. He became a grandmaster in 2004, at the age of 13. He is the youngest player to ever be ranked number one in the world. These are the top five chess prodigies. 5. Emmanuel Lasker Emmanuel Lasker was one of the greatest chess prodigies of all time. He was born in Germany in 1868 and learned to play chess at the age of 8. By the time he was 10, he was already beating some of the best players in Germany. Lasker went on to have a brilliant chess career, winning the world championship twice. He was also a great mathematician and philosopher, and wrote several books on chess and other topics. Lasker was one of the few players in history who could consistently beat the great Russian player Mikhail Botvinnik. In fact, Botvinnik once said that Lasker was the only player who could really make him feel uncomfortable at the chessboard. Lasker was a true genius, and his accomplishments in chess and other fields are a testament to his incredible intellect. 4. Jose Raul Capablanca Jose Raul Capablanca Chess Prodigies is a documentary that tells the story of four young boys who were considered to be the best chess players in their generation. The film follows their journey as they compete in various chess tournaments around the world. The four boys, Jose Raul Capablanca, Alexander Alekhine, Emmanuel Lasker, and Wilhelm Steinitz, were all born in the late 1800s and early 1900s. They started playing chess at a young age and quickly rose to the top of the chess world. The film chronicles their successes and failures as they compete against each other and the best chess players in the world. It also looks at the personal lives of the four boys and how chess affected their relationships with their families and friends. Chess is a game that requires a lot of concentration and focus. The four boys in the film all have different personalities and they all approach the game in different ways. However, they all have one common goal, to become the best chess player in the world. The film is inspiring and educational. It shows that with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. The four boys in the film are proof of that. 3. Bobby Fischer Bobby Fischer is considered one of the greatest chess prodigies of all time. Born in 1943, Fischer started playing chess at the age of 6 and quickly began to show signs of exceptional talent. By the age of 13, he had become the youngest grandmaster in history and went on to win the World Chess Championship in 1972. Fischer's genius was not just limited to his extraordinary chess ability, he was also a gifted mathematician and had a photographic memory. His skills were so prodigious that some believe he may have had Asperger's syndrome or another form of autism. Fischer's life was not without its difficulties, however. He was often described as arrogant and paranoid, and his relationship with the US Chess Federation was often strained. In later years, he became increasingly reclusive and was even accused of being a Nazi sympathizer. Despite his many quirks, Bobby Fischer was undoubtedly a chess genius and will be remembered as one of the greatest players of all time. 2. Garry Kasparov Garry Kasparov is widely considered to be one of the greatest chess players of all time. He was a prodigy who started playing chess at the age of 4 and by the age of 13, he was the youngest person ever to be awarded the title of Grandmaster. Kasparov dominated the chess world for two decades, becoming the world champion in 1985 and holding the title until he was defeated by IBM's Deep Blue Computer in 1997. Kasparov's chess career was remarkable not just for his string of victories, but also for the way in which he played the game. He was known for his aggressive and attacking style, as well as his deep strategic understanding of the game. Kasparov was also famous for his psychological warfare against opponents, using a variety of methods to try to unnerve them. One of Kasparov's most famous victories was against the computer Deep Blue in a match held in New York in 1996. Kasparov won the first game of the match, but then lost the next two. In the fourth game, Kasparov made a bold move that caught Deep Blue off guard and led to a win. The match was ultimately decided in the final game, which Kasparov lost after making a mistake in the opening. Despite the loss to Deep Blue, Kasparov remained the highest rated chess player in the world until his retirement from professional chess in 2005. He remains an active and vocal advocate for the game of chess, and a respected commentator on the chess world. 1. Magnus Carlsen In 2010, Magnus Carlsen became the youngest player in history to be ranked number one in the world. He was just 19 years old. Today, at the age of 26, he is still the highest ranked chess player in the world. Carlsen was born in Norway in 1990. His father taught him to play chess when he was just five years old. By the age of 13, he was already a grandmaster. 
He has won numerous international competitions, including the World Chess Championship in 2013 and the World Rapid Chess Championship in 2014. Carlsen is often described as a prodigy. A prodigy is defined as a person who is extraordinarily gifted in a particular area, such as music, art, or chess. Carlsen's extraordinary chess skills have earned him the nickname, the Mozart of chess. What sets Carlsen apart from other chess players is his ability to think several moves ahead. He has a remarkable memory and can recall every game he has ever played. He is also very quick at making calculations. All of these skills combine to make Carlsen a formidable opponent. In a 2013 interview, Carlsen said, I try to be as aggressive as possible and to put my opponents under as much pressure as I can. This aggressive style of play has helped Carlsen to win many tournaments. However, it has also led to some losses, particularly in long matches where his opponents have been able to outlast him. In 2014, Carlsen suffered a surprising defeat in a match against Vladimir Kramnik. Kramnik is a former world champion who is known for his strategic, positional style of play. In the match, Kramnik employed a slow but short strategy, wearing Carlsen down over the course of several hours. This loss was a wake-up call for Carlsen. He realized that he needed to add some new weapons to his chess arsenal. He began studying. We hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this.